All right, with the last video, we took a look at how to draw our practice block. Now, this video, I'm going to show you how to draw block one. All right, so we want to start a new drawing. So a standard IPT. Click create, and that gives us our drawing space. From here, I'm going to click on the icon for start 2D sketch. Remember, don't click on the words. Click on the picture. All right. And here I want to choose the XY plane. And now I'm going to start drawing with the line tool. Again, I want to start from my 0, 0 point. And I'm not looking for perfection with the measurements. I'm looking just in the shape that I've got. The last time around, too, we said that we want to keep the line straight. So this one I'm going to purposely make off so I can show you how to fix that. Okay, I've got two options to do that. I either have the parallel constraint or I've got the perpendicular constraint. You can choose either one. Just make sure that after you have one of these selected, you want to next click on okay, the one you want to make either the line uh, perpendicular to or the one that's going to be parallel to it. So start with the good line first, then click on the one that's not. Okay. And that'll shift it so that it's either perpendicular or parallel if that's the case. From here, I can start to add my dimensions. This should be two inches tall and three inches wide. And again, if it goes off the screen, that's fine. I just click on front and it'll pan back so I can see everything. Next, I'm going to dimension this top piece to 1.5 and this piece should be one inch tall. Notice that my lines are all purple. Everything is constrained uh, so now I can finish the sketch and add the depth. Okay, I can do that with my extrude button and again I like to send the piece back so I have my good drawing face in the front and I'm going to change my depth to 1.5 because that's how deep my drawing one plan is. Okay, so that's my piece. The next thing I need to do is do the good like dimensioning sheet. Okay, before I can do my new drawing, I need to save this one. So I want to click on either this save icon or file and save. But I'm going to label this as drawing one. not W, drawing one, and save. It says that I exist, I've drawn this once or twice, so I have an extra copy of it. Yes, I'm going to replace it. You guys probably won't have that menu pop up, so you won't have to worry about that. But once it's saved, now I can create my IDW file. So standard IDW, click on that, and then hit create. We should see, see this sheet. From here, I want to go to base, and there's my front view. Now, if you save this from the day before and you're coming back to it fresh today to do our IDW file, maybe you don't have this pop up. In order to find that, go to the file folder here with the magnifying glass, and you want to get under your name under the home directory. Okay. Once you're there, you should be able to scroll down and find your drawing one. Okay. I already have this saved. Or I already have this open, so I don't need to worry about uh, opening this again. I'm just going to hit cancel. All right. I'm going to change my scale. 3 to 1 seems to fit pretty well with this one. I'm going to hit OK. Now at this point, I forgot to place my right view, top view, and my isometric view over here. I can still do that. I just need to use the projected command at this point. Once I have it selected, I'm going to go inside the dotted red line and click. And now I can place a top view, a right view, and an isometric view. And sometimes we just see these as blocks right now. We don't see the detail. We might think that something wrong, and sometimes we click a few times in here. It's okay. We can still complete this drawing. Uh, we just want to create this first, and then we'll get rid of the rest of that stuff that we don't want. So right-click, hit Create. See how they're all stacked on each other? 
I'm going to do now is delete these. So I'm going to move inside of one of these dotted red lines. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to the delete button. And it's going to ask me if I want to get rid of it and I'm going to say yes. And we're going to do that until I have just one of these views left. All right. And there we are. Okay. So next comes the dimensioning part. Back to annotate. Dimension. And with this one, we don't have any holes or anything, so we don't need to worry about center marks or the center uh, line bisectors. We just need to dimension. So I'm going to click on the top and bottom of my right view. I can highlight just this part of my front view. All right. Need just one more dimension. I need to know how deep this particular block is. All right. At this point, I have all my dimensions in. And what I want to do next is uh, change my dimension style. I talked about this, uh, there being a video on this, but I'm going to show you right here how to do that. So I want to make sure that dimension is not selected. If it's selected, it's going to be blue. In order for me to do what I need to, it needs to be deselected. So to unselect it, hit the escape button on your keyboard and notice how it's no longer blue. Okay, I'll be able to do what I need to next, as long as it's not blue. Right click on the dimension and then go to edit dimension style. Once I click on that, this menu should appear. Okay, what I'll do is go to Format under the units and select a fraction. Uh, we've been talking about parts of an inch, fractions of an inch, and not necessarily decimals. So on these, I'd like to see these as a fraction. So choose one that you would like. Okay, and change your precision to a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, if it's not already selected. This we can hit save for, then go to text. And one, we're going to change the size right here to 0 0.240. And then we're going to go right here to this pencil on Edit Text Style. Uh, if it asks you to save it, save it. And then you're going to go right here to Text Height. Okay? This, you're going to drop the menu down, and you're going to go to 0 0.240 here as well. Now you should be able to save and close. And notice that your, fra uh, your dimensions are larger, and when you have fractions... They're fractions and not decimals anymore. But that's how we can change our dimension style uh, to make it more shop friendly for us. All right? Thank you very much for watching this.